Hello everyone, my name is Miss Trish and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reading you a story from lesson four and the title of the story is called Nana's Poem. Come on, David, play tea party with me, please, pleaded Caroline. Caroline's friend Angela was supposed to come over, but she was late from the dentist. Caroline had nobody to play with. Oh, all right, agreed David. But just until Teddy comes over, and don't tell him I was playing tea party. I promise, said Caroline. No, no, we're going outside to play in the treehouse, called Caroline to her grandmother. Nana was visiting from Florida. She was watching Caroline and David while their mom was out. I'll come outside too, said Nana. I can do my crossword puzzle out in the beautiful sunshine. I'll carry my dolls and you can carry the tea set, okay, David? said Caroline. David collected the cups and teapot on a tray and had it for the treehouse. Last one, there is a rotten egg, said David. As he began to run, watch out, yelled Caroline. But it was too late. David stumbled <coughs> over a jump rope and almost fell down. One teacup flew off the tray, hit the edge of the stone walkway, and smashed into a thousand tiny pieces. You broke my teacup, howled Caroline. What's going on? asked Nana, who came to hear what all the noise was about. David broke my teacup, wailed Caroline. It wasn't my fault, said David. Caroline left her jump rope in the middle of the yard. Davy was running. It's not fair to blame it on me, yelled Caroline, beginning to cry. Nana tried to get Caroline and David to calm down and stop arguing. Come and sit with me on the deck, she said. David and Caroline put the remaining pieces of tea set on the table and sat down. Caroline was still sniffling when she felt Jordan and Tiana's cat, Apricot brushed against her leg. Apricot stared up at Caroline, yawned, hmm, and then lay down to sleep under the table. Apricot reminds me of a funny little poem I liked as a little girl, said Nana, rubbing the cat's soft fur. It's about a family or kitty cats at a tea party. Would you like to hear it? Okay, they said. Even David, who didn't like playing tea party, liked Nana's stories and poems. Nana got the book and began to read. Four little kitty cats had an invitation to tea. They cried, Mother, let us go, for good we'll surely be. We'll wear our bibs and hold our things as well as we're able. Spoons and right paws, cups and left, sitting at the table. The five little kitty cats went out that day to tea. Their hats were smooth and glossy. Their tails were swinging free. They held their things as they had learned and tried to be polite. With snowy bibs beneath their chins, they were a pretty sight. So much for manners beautiful and coats as soft as silk. The moment that the kitty cats were asked to take some milk, they dropped their spoons, forgot to bow, and oh, what do you think? They put their noses in the cups and all began to drink. Yes, every naughty little cat began to meow for more. <coughs> then knocked the teacups over and scampered through the door. Nana finished the poem and both children laughed. You would look pretty silly in a bit, wouldn't you, Apricot? Said Caroline, glancing at the snoozing cat. Just then, Two children came around the corner of the house into the backyard. It was Angela back from the dentist. Teddy was there too. Angela had an invitation in her hand. I'm having a birthday party and I want you to come. Angela said to Caroline. She handed her invitation. Oh boy, said Caroline. Let's go hang out in the treehouse, Teddy, said David. Caroline frowned. That's what we were gonna do. Come on, Angela. Bye, Nana, the children called as they all ran toward the treehouse. As Nana reached down to pat Africa, she could hear, Last one, there is a rotten egg. Uh-oh, she said to herself. The end. 
How did you enjoy the story today? I hope you liked it and I will see you in lesson 5 and before we go, I'm going to leave some other comprehension questions in the next slide so you can take a look and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.